Hi, hello there, I'm Dr. Elisa Peavy. Welcome to today's quick tip topic where we'll be discussing uh, type two diabetes. Uh, this is a disease process that I want you to all to know that uh, truly if you are motivated to make changes with it, 100% um, you can turn this disease around. I particularly had a, a patient who came in to see me um, diagnosed with an A1C of 10.9, which is an average blood sugar of over 300. Um, her entire family, she grew up watching it. Her parents had it, siblings had it, aunts, uncles. I mean, talk about a family history, right? So she comes in to me and she says, what can I do? I don't want this. This is not how I want to live my life. And so we formulated a plan and she was very motivated. And she came back in three months, three months, now this results vary, but came back in three months and her A1C had dropped from 10.9 to 5.7. She went from being very diabetic down to an A1C that was in a pre-diabetic range, an average blood sugar of about 110. So really and truly, if you're motivated to make changes, you, you can do a lot to help this disease not be uh, quite as devastating as it typically is. So a few things that will be really helpful. Obviously we all know about sugar, but the important thing to really note about sugar, artificial sweeteners are not okay. They are toxic to our body. They actually cause worsening inflammation and worsening problems. So please do not replace your sugar with an artificial sweetener. Now, if you wanted to use something like stevia, that's okay. Um, or, uh, you know, on the occasional time, even honey is a good, uh, uh, substitute obviously not in massive quantities it does have a high glycemic index but honey um, as a general rule of thumb is actually very good for you I will talk about that in a later episode for sure but honey is amazing so um, number two an anti-inflammatory diet so things that make inflammation worse in your body typically exacerbates everything and diabetes it tends to be worse as well so things like gluten and dairy corn, um, soy, and even things like canola oil for some people, and eggs, in fact. So I would really pay attention to these. The two biggest ones though, dairy and, and uh, gluten for sure, I, I recommend to all people with, with diabetes to really try and avoid those foods as much as possible. Um, third thing, magnesium. This is a must. Uh, you'll probably hear, I, I think everyone should take magnesium regardless, but especially for diabetes as well as for high blood pressure <clears throat> or hypertension. Uh, magnesium is something that you should be taking on a regular basis. Um, neuropathy. Uh -huh. Neuropathy. So B12. You should be taking B12 to help with any neuropathy symptoms that you might be having. Additionally, uh, bananas and apples are really good uh, foods that help with neuropathy symptoms. I'd also recommend turmeric and ginger um, intake on a regular daily basis. Exercise, of course, um, even 10 to 15 minutes of, of a quick brisk walk after, after you eat uh, makes a huge difference in your blood sugar levels. Um, cardiovascular exercise, of course, is really important, um, but doing something uh, quickly after you eat can make a huge difference in lowering the, blue, uh, the blood sugar levels. And lastly, so we kind of talk about belief systems throughout my series. Um, I really touched on this, the episode that I just put up on Monday actually is all about your emotions and thoughts and how important those are in, in your actual health. And there's no, uh, there's, there's no difference uh, between diabetes. Diabetes also usually has an emotional component to it. Uh, take for example, someone who has a belief system, well, it's in my family right? We have the genetic predisposition for it. Obviously, I'm going to get diabetes. So uh, the person then has this belief system and they develop diabetes and they just go along that path because that's what they thought was going to happen. Well, you don't have to carry this belief system and, and, and getting rid of this belief system and turning it into something positive actually will help you manage the diabetes even better. So go find yourself a practitioner Send me a message if you don't know where to look. Come to my website. You can check out practitioners there. You can send me a Facebook message. Comment down below. Anything. I'm more than happy to help uh, search someone out for you that can help clear those negative belief systems so that you can be the happiest and healthiest person that you know. So thanks for watching. Uh, check out my website again, forbody.com, and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.